Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to do a single sample or one sample t-test in JASP. So here's just a little problem that we're going to work on here. So let's suppose smartphone owners spend about 190 minutes engaged with their phone on average in a given day. And you collect a sample of self-proclaimed social influencers and record their phone usage over the course of a day and we want to see is there a significant difference using alpha 0.05 two-tailed between the population that we've sampled from and the general population of smartphone users so here we're going to be comparing 190 minutes to whatever the mean is in this sample, very small sample of just 10 social influencers. All right, so I will open up an Excel file. And the Excel file has the data from the table. And I'll simply go to t-test, one sample t-test. And I'll make sure that I enter in the variable that I want to compare, which is minutes. And also enter in the population mean or the point that I'm comparing the sample mean to, which in this example was 190 minutes. I'll leave this alone because we're doing the student's t-test and some of these ex uh, some of these options I may want to select location parameter that'll give you the mean difference. Might as well also get the confidence interval for the mean difference. We'll also give you effect size in the form of Cohen's D and while you're at it you can ask for the confidence interval for that effect size. The descriptives will give you the mean and standard deviation and standard error. And we can also ask for a plot, which isn't terribly useful here, but we'll ask for it anyway. So it'll go ahead and conduct a t-test for you, and your task is just to interpret the results. So we see the t observed with 9 degrees of freedom, because we only had a sample size of 10 for this small sample example, was 2.33. So what that tells us is that our difference between the means, which was 9.1, is 2.33 times larger than our standard error. So here we see our p-value is 0 0.04, which uh, is just ever so slightly below our alpha. So we would reject the null hypothesis and claim that there is a difference and we have evidence to suggest that our populate that our sample which comes from the population of social influencers uh, is uh, significantly higher or uses their phone significantly longer than the general population our confidence interval for that difference is not very accurate it ranges from 0.28 to about 18 minutes. Uh, so we see it does exclude zero, but ever so slightly. So we were able to exclude zero, but we are not super confident ab about the amount of difference we expect between these two popu populations. The Cohen's D is quite large, 0.74. But the confidence interval for that effect size measure ranges from very small to enormous. So from minuscule to enormous. So we uh, aren't very confident about our estimate. Of course, we only have a sample size of 10, so it would be difficult to be confident. Uh, and then we would get the sample size, the mean, the standard deviation and the standard error in the descriptives table. And then we have this 
plot or graph that demonstrates the confidence interval. So that's how you conduct a one sample t-test using JASP. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it does have uh, the t-test the options in JASP does allow you to very quickly get the the effect sizes which is which is nice uh, some programs don't do that but uh thank you for listening and i hope you enjoyed that as much as i do